what's up everyone and welcome to my channel once again this is where we get to learn a lot of photoshop design tutorials awesome tutorials with me your designer of all time <laughs> anyway welcome today on this kind of channel and then we today we're gonna be continuing with our tutorials as usual the last tutorial we did was about doing a poster for promoting a final soccer tournament Today, I'm going to continue on those kind of trends, but I'm going to be focusing on how you can do a profile for a specific player. Maybe you want to give a specific uh, uh, information about this kind, this kind of a player. So I will use Photoshop to do that kind of a simple short poster that you can post on social media, circulated to uh, fans and everybody. So. As usual, um, the last time we did, I will I will continue using the same same designs, the pictures that I used before. So I will do today. I don't know. I'm going to put first. I'm using this Camp Nou soccer pitch in Barcelona, and then that is our background. And then I'm going to put another layer. I will add a gradient to it. I'll just leave it black. And then I'm going to take, let me see which player I'm going to use. I think I should use Messi, Lionel Messi, or should I use, I don't know. I think I should, let me check, let me check, let me check, let me check. Mm, Bappe or, let me use Messi or this Neymar, Neymar Jr. Yeah, we have Neymar Jr. here. Ooh, we can, ah, let me check. Sorry, these guys are just having awesome poses. So let me use Messi. So this Messi here, this picture for Messi, I'm going to use it as a background. And it will be actually not a background. Uh, we have a background that we've already placed there. I'm going to put this one as our main picture. So what we'll do is I'm going to add something called uh, gradient map and gradient map I'm going to be only clipping it to Messi. So when I click, when I select the gradient map, I need to go to the gradients and then select uh, the colors that I want to use. This is the technique that we used. If you can remember the video that we did, if you've not seen about uh, duotones, I'll link it up in this particular thing tutorial. So this is an, this is an example of uh, developing duotones manually on Photoshop. So I'm going to take a picture like maybe this one. I will use some blue, some blue, somewhere blue. I don't know. This blue and then this one should be light blue or something like that. I don't know. Uh, uh, it looks ugly anyway. So we'll use there. Yeah, that is good. So our, our gradient is going to be out a little bit. I will this gradient that we put is going to be out a little bit. So I'll use just something, something different. Um, what is it? What is it? So I'll use, I'll put another layer and then I'm going to go to the brush tool. I need to increase this brush tool. And then actually it's still not yet there. Maybe 17. Then I can just draw. I can, I can put a background. Uh, this background is not good. Let me change the color for this to something, something like this, kind of blue. Yes, now I can, can paint over here. Yeah, that is good. So it's somehow okay for me. It's supposed to be a fast tutorial, so I'll try to speed to speed up my pace. I need to just uh, write the name of Messi. Uh, Messi. This is the name that I'm going to put. 
here so the name is actually supposed to be maybe white in color and then this name I will move it to the background and then I will duplicate by clicking command J or control J and then I will reduce the fill to zero then I will put a stroke on it so that it can look like that but this stroke is a little bit bigger maybe if I put one maybe if I put two if I put three yeah that three is better so that three is okay but the stroke only needs to be on uh, I need it to be clicked clipped on this mask I need it to be clipped right click look for cl clipping mask clip clip where is it mm -hmm. sorry sorry I need to find that thing let me just drag it here first yep so we've seen it so it's already clipped to that mask so we have messy but this background doesn't look good it looks messed up somehow so we need to spread it equally evenly our, our circular if we put this color it doesn't look good So I'm just trying to play around with this. Um, but if we remove that, actually, looks this looks better. But still, this color doesn't look good. So I will try to increase it out. And then after I increase it out, I've maximized the field. So I need to just. Uh, see what we can do with it uh, color dodge uh, let's put color dodge but this one i need to add something here we'll go back to our gradient overlay which was there so now that we've put our gradient overlay we can we can be able to to say we have messy there so now I have messy now what you can do is simply add uh, some some of the shapes if you're branding your own designs maybe it's a it's a channel that you're doing now you can add your own places to to put social media items icons can add like that this you can put social media icons there <laughs> then you can go back to the background draw some shapes I need a very thin line thin one very thin I'll make it white in color and then I'll try to uh, make it rotate at an angle of 15 degrees so I click on shift so that I can be able to achieve that and then I can increase its size in terms of length so we can move it to somewhere here I don't want it to be seen like it's coming from that name I want yeah somewhere here you can duplicate it and then simply move it uh, move it there and then move it up uh, there it's too very 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 far so then you can move it like up there 
and then this one you can move it like down there like down there so as i said now you can play with patterns you can put uh, patterns that you wish to put there um, you can write uh, I don't know what else to write, but you can play around with these things. What you wanted to just put the picture of the person, the, the ground where he plays, and then the gradient, and then how to put the text. Very simple, clear, fast, and easy. We've already achieved that. So if there is any other adjustment in terms of your creativity, you're free to continue and uh, add it on your own. I will go to my camera raw filter so that I can try to enhance. Uh, the picture of our our Messi. I'm trying to enhance his contrast uh, highlights and whites in terms of we need to see him glow. Um, yeah, he's better that way. And then I can finally put my color lookup as usual. My color lookup is very important for me to put it there. So I'm using that one. Actually, I will delete this shape because I don't need it. And then I can come and uh, look for my logo. My logo. And then I will just uh, simply drag it on the design. So I drag it and then I put it down there. So with that, I think I'm not going to make this tutorial very long beyond this point. We have achieved something that we call a profile profile uh profiling this name you can write it you can write his name here i think let me just finalize here write the name Lionel messi um let me just finalize before so that people don't just say he's called he's called messi no he has two names he's called Lionel messi so you can now you can write it um you can put it there and then you can say yeah you can say we are good to do to go with that kind of a design continue subscribing on my channel sharing to as many as many people as possible that you can reach family friends fellow designers people who like this kind of things that we do i thank you for your cooperation and for staying up to this particular point with me in this kind of tutorial thank you till we meet again Bye-bye.